This is at Brookings. I'm Gigi Hinton. Suicide bombings and unrest continue to challenge U.S. forces and U.S. policy in both Afghanistan and Pakistan, raising questions about the best path forward. What does the State Department's special representative to these two countries have to say about this very delicate matter? Well, you'll hear his thoughts on this issue next at Brookings. This is At Brookings, a review of news and events for the week of January 4th, 2010. President Obama has declared that the nation is engaged in a war against terrorism and has ordered a series of new measures to combat terrorist activity. State Department Special Envoy Richard Holbrook spoke at Brookings, saying the source of terrorist activity against the U.S. is largely rooted in Afghanistan and Pakistan, and stabilizing the region, he says, is a matter of national security. We concluded quite simply that America's basic national security interests were at stake in these two countries. This was not Vietnam where the Viet Cong posed no direct threat to the American homeland. It was not Iraq, where Saddam Hussein similarly did not pose a direct threat. This was an area from which attacks on our soil and other countries, including Pakistan itself, had been planned. And the people out there had said very clearly they'd do it again, as the uh, near miss on Christmas Day demonstrates so fully. The fact that that, that this particular person was not trained in Pakistan does not change the fact that the inspiration for all of this comes from al-Qaeda and al-Qaeda's leadership is based in the remotest areas on the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. So we concluded without any dissent that this was a national security issue and we could not walk away from it. At Brookings is produced by the Brookings Institution. To learn more about the issues discussed on At Brookings, visit our website at brookings.edu.